Landowners in roughly a third of Iowa wait to see if Summit Carbon Solutions will be given permission to build a carbon sequestration pipeline through their land. Now about 75% of the homeowners and the landowners have signed voluntary agreements with Summit to access. Now the company may use eminent domain though to allow it to force the rest to get that access. House lawmakers did pass a bill to make private use of eminent domain more difficult, but Senate Republicans didn't ever take up the bill. In state capital report, Reporter Connor Hendricks talked to a landowner who says she feels betrayed by her own party. Kathy Stockdale's family has farmed this land in Iowa Falls for more than 100 years. Corn and soybeans and our son in the last eight years has come back to help farm. The proposed Summit Carbon Solutions Pipeline will run through her farm. It will be going all the way down to the road down there. And then it will be cutting the whole farm in half all the way down to where wetlands down at the next road. She's opposed to the pipeline. I'm fighting for my property rights. I believe God gave us this land to take care of. And with that comes those property rights. And if we lose property rights, we lose all control over anything and everything we want to do on our farms. For the past three years, lawmakers in the Iowa House have passed legislation to rein in the use of eminent domain. Most recently, a bill by state rep Charlie Thompson would allow landowners and pipeline companies to go to court to ask whether the use of eminent domain was constitutional and benefited the public. Land is the original asset in Iowa. It's in our souls. An unjust taking of land without remedy is not only irritating, it's outrageous. Stockdale has been at the Capitol nearly every week for the better part of three years and says she's talked to enough senators to know it would have passed if they brought it up. As a Republican and as an Iowan, it bothers me tremendously that only three or four senators can stop any legislation from going through. Despite the setbacks, Stockdale doesn't plan to stop fighting. Are you giving up? No. No, it just makes us fight harder especially with the new extensions. It's what we're already starting to reach out to landowners and fill them in on what's really going on. Stockdale says she has a little more faith in legislation being passed next year, and she and other landowners are also looking at their legal options through the courts. In Iowa Falls, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.